Hello everyone, Tommy Station here. Um, today, today's video is a bit of a mix of wagons and locos. Um, I purchased two job lots of locos uh, of wagons, sorry. Um, there's a bit of a mixture of manufacturers as well. This one is um, Roco Austria. This one is Fleischmann. Um, this one is Lima. Then we have one Mahano and one Roco. Then we have this. Uh, yeah, I think this one was unmarked. I can't identify that one. The Heinz wagon is a Tyco made in Hong Kong. Um, very, very nicely made. This metal wheels. Um, so I've got two Heinz wagons now, different ones. These are uh, potato box vans. And then there's a UF box van on, on, on the back. Um, very, very nice condition. Um, I had a bit of a problem with the wheels on one, but sorted that out. So, um, yeah, this one, brown one, is actually marked DB. Well, normally they're marked uh, with American um, local as uh, firms. So, in part of the one job lot, with these two metal Fleischmann passenger coaches, in very nice condition, uh, one of the wheel uh, wheel sh supports, metal supports, was twisted, but I managed to straighten that up. Um, and lo and behold, here's two brand new wagons I bought. Um, yeah, I actually bought something new. So, without further ado, let's go around so I can show on the other side. Here we have uh, Fleischmann beer wagons. And I needed a beer after repairing the towing locomotive, the V100. That was an absolute headache to uh, get sorted out. Now then, I'll start that one off, I hope, in the right direction. There we go. So there, there it goes. This one, I installed a, a six volt CD motor from an old, I don't know, bit CD uh, video player. And it was a lot better, but still very noisy. And then I discovered that, again, uh, with some of these old lemurs, the gears were quite bad. Now, uh, in my last video, I showed all the new gears I bought for my lemurs, but they didn't have uh, this particular stopped on the points. I got bad points here. There we go. Right, so it's not running too bad, but one of the gears is what I would describe as eccentric. So, right, let's pull that one forward to touch. There we go. One of my videos where nothing goes wrong, right? Okay, so off we go again. Nice slow starting, and it is a lot quieter. So, like I say, uh, from the set of gears I bought, um, I couldn't identify them uh, with the seller. So I'll have to start counting the teeth and identifying them a bit better to see if I can find them. So there we go. So that's a Lima V100 with a 6 volt CD drive and two new gears. There we are. Big improvement on that. Right, so let's change that. And then we'll run we'll run this one around a little bit. There we go. Yes, very pleased with the condition of them. Um, they needed a bit of a wash and brush up, but that's normal. There's one wagon I'd like some help with. As I'm running around, I'll show you. And that's this one. This is a Lima uh, 
flat wagon with two containers on which I have no idea what they are now I don't know if somebody's put them on stuck them on or whether Lima made them like this I have no idea what they what they're supposed to be so if anyone can identify that I would be grateful now we'll move on to um, my latest project once this train comes into the station onto the siding stop that one there now then I've been looking f at three uh, diesels and I've been able to buy the first one and uh, I bought a set of gears it's a Hornby I bought a set of gears for it and changed them it's also had the motor replaced with a CD 12 volt CD conversion uh, this one I think it's been overheated it's it's quite quite uh, in bad condition so anyway um, I shall show that one now coming out of the station oh, actually coming into the station I suppose and here it is it's a Hornby class 29 and like I say this has in, um, the 12 volt CD drive conversion with all the proper um, mounting kits and, and new gears, uh, new new drive gear. Very, very easy to convert, um, very straightforward, and it's made one hell of a difference to the performance. Um, again, it has a complete new set of gears and the clip, so we'll run it a bit more. It just needs running in now because obviously the gears need time to settle down. Um, I'm very happy with the quality of the gears actually that I bought. Very very well made, there's no flash on them, you don't have to do any filing or sanding, nothing there. Perfect, straight out of the packet. So as you can see, this one is pulling five blood and custard coaches without any problem at all. I have put new traction tyres on it. I managed to buy another pack of 10 uh, traction tyres. So there we go. Yeah, very nice runner. Very, very nice. When I tried it with its Ringfield motor, oh my god, it, it, it was terrible. And like I say, the, um, it's typical of these Hornby Ringfield or even the Lima Ringfield motors. The gears are noisy. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't stop the noise all, all together, but you can reduce the noise. And by ha fitting a CD motor, um, it really improves them. I mean, look at this. There we are. That's as good as a Pico or a Roco locomotive at slow speed. Not as quiet at uh, normal speed, but look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Very happy. So, uh, what I've done, I've got uh, two uh, Lima 12 volt conversion kits for the other two locomotives that uh, are coming my way soon. So this is the first one, as I said, this is a Hornby um, CD conversion kit. Um, <coughs> the beauty of them is that they're almost maintenance free. All you have to do is make sure that there's a, the gears, are, there's no fluff or, or hairs on the gears and make, make sure they're clean and lubricated with some uh, good quality oil. And you do away with all the brushes, with the amateur cleaning, etc., etc. So, um, once I put my first CD motor in a loco, I was hooked. 
the, the, the difference is unbelievable in performance so just one small slow start and as it comes around the top bend this is my incline handles it no problem at all yeah I'm sure with um, more running the gears will settle down and it should be even quieter but for the moment I'm happy how it is I remember my Hornby Class 37 how noisy that was until I managed to uh, fit a double drive and some, some new gears so like I say with Hornby um, you can't expect to have them running totally smooth and quiet but you can improve them Okay, so there we go. Um, like I say, if anyone can help me identify whether this was actually made by Lima or somebody's put them st stuck some cylinders on, I'd be grateful. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye now.